survival Minecraft, the purest form of the game, whether it is building your dirt house and growing it to huge mansions and villages, or whether it is killing hordes of mobs and creepers and zombies and skeletons, whatever it is, does it for you, you are going to do it with me in this series, don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Abermance, and we are in Abermansia. Yep, that's the name of the world. I've given it, it's a survival series, Abermance, Abermansia. Makes a bit of sense, right? Well, this is the third part. We've done a little bit more work, and I'm going to go over what it is we've achieved so far. You can see, obviously, the mine in the background. That was done in the first episode, but we have got a lot more to show you. I've done a lot more work. You might be a little bit surprised about what I've done, and then we're going to get on and see if we can't do something else that's a little bit more exciting. We are going to go slime hunting, because I need to make sticky pistons. I want to make some redstone stuff, so I need sticky pistons, which means I need slime balls, which means I've got to go and bash some slimes with my iron sword whilst covered in iron armour, which is what I've got now. So let's go and have a look and see what it is we've done so far, and then we'll go bash some slimes. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the mine. Not because we're going down. I've not actually done anything with the down bit yet. I will do, but I haven't yet. But because we're going this way. And the reason we're going this way is because I got fed up with my house having to go overworld to get to the mine. So I have connected the house with the mine. Quite simple, right? So we're going up and up and round and round and up and up and round and round. And here is the house. So we're inside the house now, but you can see I've started to develop the house just a little bit more. Look, we're sticking a bit above the ground. We've got a little bit more stonework above there. We've got a glass ceiling. And then I've got another bit up here as well, which is my bedroom. So I've got all kinds of stuffs going on. Nice view out there where we can do loads of stuff out there. Watch out, there is a creeper, which is why it's better to go from the mine to the house and the house to the mine under the ground. We're going to make sure that this entire section is all lit up so there's going to be no mob spawning, but that's going to take a little bit of time. So that's what we've got there. So we're going down again and then I've got to brave the creeper a little bit because I'm going out because I want to show you what we've done round the back. So I'm just having a peek. Where is he? Little monkey. I'm. I, you know what? I'm going to do a little bit of suicide. Come on, creepy, creepy, creepy. Let's go this way and down this way. Are you coming? Yeah, you are. Coming down this way. Keep coming. Coming down this way. Are you still coming? Yeah, you are. Come on now, my little mate. You want to come out here? Let's go here. Come on, fella. You can see the house in the background. Come on, my mate. Come on here. Creepy, 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 creepy. Here, creepy, creepy, creepy. And I'm just going to get here. Boom! There you go. That is the way to destroy a creeper that's in your way. So, I only got one art damage and I'm full of food, so I don't care. So, you can see there, look. You see the outside of my house. I've not done a lot with it. I've just added a little bit of detail. Now, it's not just a hole in the ground now. It's more like a proper house. And whilst it's still very, very basic still, at least it is a little bit more house-like. But what I want to show you is what's going on behind the house that I've started to develop the area that is going to be effectively my home base. It's right on the edge of a peninsula, so we've got all kinds of things we can do with that. But we've got roads. No, I've started to build a road, but look. Oh, the nether portal. The nether portal appears to have sprouted lots of rock and become rather scary. This is the way to the nether hub. So I thought, you know what? I'm not just having a standard portal. That would be rubbish. I'm going to have something that looks a little bit more classy. So it's on fire. I've got some glowstone out the nether, and it goes backwards to the other side of the peninsula as well. That goes inland, but this goes outwards there, so we're coming around. And then, obviously, you can just go up into it. We've got the road. Let's walk along the road. I made this road. I'm not even walking along it. Let's walk along the road. Doopy doo. I'm walking along my road, and I can come to my um, nether portal right there, and I can go in it. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. We're going to go into the nether and into the nether transport system. So let's get on with that. So we're through the nether portal into what will become the nether hub. It's just a box of cobble right now, a little bit dull. But I'm gonna take a little bit of these uh, building materials because I've realized I've not actually bought very much with me. Look at that, it's absolutely appalling. I have seven apples and a loaf of bread. Absolutely appalling. So, and I've only got one um, sword as well. So I probably not planned this very well. But what we're gonna do, you can see, I've edged off this part of the tunnel. So as we're not gonna get any um, pigmen coming onto the tracks. Also, I have a question. 
if there is a ghast floating around out there, is it still going to shoot at me if I'm behind glass? I know if I'm behind glass, the uh, creeper won't try and blow up. But if I'm behind glass, will a any kind of nasty from the nether try and kill me as well? Question in the comments. I'm not entirely sure. So let's get to the other end. I've only actually done this bit though. That's the thing. See, all of this bit is still open. I've got to come back and do more glass and make this into a continuous tunnel. So if I am safe behind glass, then I can be behind, safe behind glass all the way along the entire distance. So when we're at the other end, if you remember in the last episode when we did this nether portal, it was um, coming out 2,000 blocks away from our original starting spot, which is absolutely superb. That was I a mean, really, really good win was that. Um, so let's just get out of there. So we're out. So what we're now going to do, we're going to go through to the other side. So let's wobble, wobble, wobble. Go on, get in. And here we are, we are out in our, I suppose it's more, it's a plains biome, isn't it? It's, so we're out in this biome here, and it's a sunflower plains, which is lovely, because you remember the sunflowers are over there. There is a creeper coming! What is this, like creeper central? I haven't got anywhere to blow the creeper up, I'm actually going to have to beat it up. It's chasing me, I'm getting chased by fiery zombies as well. There's another creeper there, I'm doing a runner, I'm doing a runner in this direction. I'm not prepared for fighting at the moment. Oh look, there's water. Are the creepers still coming? No, they're not. Right, so I want to try and get some slimes. And if you remember, in this direction over here, there was um, some... Was it this direction over here? We're going to have to get to high ground. There was certainly... Oh, look, let's get some skellies. Let's kill them a lot. That's you, and that's you. Right, so I can have those. Done. I, I just like to kill stuff. What can I tell you? Uh, not chickens, at least not at the moment. So there was a swamp biome through here somewhere. I think it might have been the other side of the portal. So let's go around this way. So we are just about to enter the swamp biome. And if you've watched my um, how to make a... Uh, a slime farm not having to dig a blooming great big hole in the ground tutorial you'll know that a swamp biome is exactly the place to go and obviously the downside about swamp biomes is they're very rainy but that's all right so we're going to wait around in the swamp biome we're going to come across to the main part of the swamp biome over there and we are going to wait around and see if we can't bash a few, a few slimes so as i can get some um, slime balls then i can start to think about making uh, a few sticky pistons, which means I can also start to think about making a few more clever redstone contraptions. I'd really like to do some in the base, but uh, sticky pistons are pretty much a prerequisite for most of the redstone builds. I can use normal pistons, I suppose, for some of them, but I'm going to need some sticky pistons. So we're basically spending the first two or three episodes collecting the necessary resources to get the necessary components to be able to do what we want to do. Looking around, making sure there's no one's going to bash us. And um, just go into the swamp bind. So I'll be back when I found myself a nice position to start slime hunting in. So it hasn't stopped raining. And because of the rain, I can't see the moon. So I don't know whether it's a new moon or whether it's a full moon. I suspect it is a fairly new moon. Because on a new moon, you don't get slimes spawning in these biomes. And I've not really come across many. But what I have found, if I come up here, you will see... I've found, look, there is a village over there, and there's also a witch's hut. So I know now that there is a location of a witch's hut just over there, which is awesome. And there's also a village further over there, which I'll maybe go and uh, take a look at in a minute. But I can also not see any slimes whatsoever. So I reckon it is because it is not a good moon for spawning slimes. And you get very few, if any, slimes spawning when the moon is kind of new moon new moon but so we're going to carry on looking around and maybe we'll find something maybe we won't what is that down there that is obviously a creeper because this is creeper town so i'm going to do a runner right past the creeper surprise him oh i've got something else chasing me as well so let's see if we can't do this guy he's coming come on fella i love doing creepers this way it's always fun it's always fun come on then mate let's have a go at you Blow up, damage the zombie at the same time, double bubble, got them both! Yes! That is the way you deal with mobs. That's the Avermans methodology 
of dealing with a mob. May one mob splat the other mob by splatting the first mob first. Genius, absolutely brilliant. Right, I'm going to be back when maybe we've got a better moon and a little bit better weather. I thought I'd come and have a look at the village and of course because all the villagers have gone inside the zombies now think I look like a tasty treat so I'm stood on a lily pad because it gives me the, the high ground not necessarily the moral high ground but the high ground and uh, I'm bashing the zombies as they come close to me like the cowardly custards that I am but it means I got them got a few zombies there I'll have the XP thank you very much managed to get myself up to level 19 somehow but I thought we would come and have a look around this village and see whether there's anything oh look that bit's flooded which is always fun in a village, isn't it? That's what you want in a village, a bit of flooding. And all the villagers, it would seem, are hiding away inside because it's night time and I don't blame them. Up we come. But I wonder if there's anything we could loot in the village whilst we're waiting for a better, a better night. There's the village. Well, right, so I'm going to just have a look at some of these houses. Let me in. I am not. Yeah, there's no point in hiding. Look, this is a rubbish house. You've got nothing in your house. You've even got grass growing in your house. For good sake, man. Have you not got any... What? Eh? Hey? No, spider. Go away. There we go. Spider snuck up on me. That's not playing fair. Right, so let's open up. What have you got in here? Have you got anything in here? No, this is about as bad as the other one. Okay, you got some you got some books and stuff. You want to talk to me? What do you want? Paper for emeralds or a book and emeralds for an enchanted frostwalker book. Not really interested in that at the moment because I ain't got anything. Sorry about it, mate. But at least I know you're around to have a bit of a trade with at another time. So let's come and have a look and see what else we got. What have we got over here? We got a baby zombie. Brilliant. Come on in, baby zombie. I'm killing a child! This was a child. The child is now a dead child. But you know what? Such is life. Oh, a little chest. What is in the chest? I'm watching that door because I can hear growling. Is there a thing coming? No, it's not, it's not even a door in this house. Falling. Right, two gold bars. Some bread, some apples and another pickaxe. That's always useful. We'll come around this way. Where are they? Is there anything in... The furnaces. No, there's nothing in the furnaces. We have got some lava there, though. So where's that zombie? There he is. Come on, then. I'll have you. I've saved you, villagers. I am the saviour of your village. You can reward me by allowing me to loot everything. This is another appalling, appalling house. I'd be embarrassed if I lived in that house. Anything here? Look, it's not even got a do This is a terrible village. You guys need to consult your village designer. This is appalling. Right, so come on then. What else can we get? What else can we get from you? We're going to jump and miss. Is this where I was before? That's where I was before. I've no idea where I am now. Right, so come on then. Let's go this way. Let's come in here. This is a larger residence. You have a much larger residence. However, you've forgotten to furnish it with anything, you foolish man. What do you want? You want 22 wheat. And emeralds or bread. Okay, well, that's a bit rubbish from an emerald tree. I think you're a bit greedy. What have we got over here? I think I heard an enderman. I know that much. Again, you have both forgotten to furnish your stuffs. That's no good. Well, this wasn't a particularly lootable, this particular village, was it? I'm not impressed at all. Let's go up the ladder, see what we've got upstairs. We do have what is a half decent view of said swamp lands. Where are we now? I think we've probably just stepped out of the swamp lands, haven't we? No, we're still in the swamp land biome. So theoretically, we could have um, the slimes spawning around here as well. But at the moment, I see nothing. So I'm just going to have to wait, I suppose. But I might wait around here just to see what happens. I'll be back in a bit. So I've wandered back into the swamp. You can see the village I was at was just over there. The rain has stopped, thank goodness, although it'll probably start again now I've said that. There is the witch's hut that I avoided like the play because I don't want to start playing with witches just yet. The moon isn't full, but it isn't a new moon either. And I am kind of up a tree as a result of climbing through it like this. And I'm hoping as a result of all of those facts, I might be able to just about find some slime. But I'm still not optimistic because 
this particular um, swamp biome seems to be look there's a creeper there let's go do creeper creeper fishing there we go um, this particular swamp biome appears to be very water based there's an awful lot of water there we go um, there's an awful lot of water here and as a result um, I think it's it's not going to be particularly good for slimes. Slimes tend to want to spawn on land rather than water. I think I've just come into a plains biome. No, I'm still on swamp land just about. Although if I go in this direction, I suspect it'll become plains. Yes, it will. So I'm right on the edge of the swamp biome here. So I need to go a bit further into it. So let's have a bit of a search. <laughs> see that I have found a slime at last we have found a slime and now I just need to eat it I need to get it what else was hitting me there something else was hitting me there there we go so now we've got that slime's done that slime's done we've got all the little slimes coming for us so I just need to get out into the water a little bit because I need to eat an apple because I didn't realize that my hearts were quite so low we go so now lots of little slimes i love you i love your slime balls marvelous got nothing coming i'm very excited i'm getting slime balls there we go more slime balls there we go right so collected all those slime balls let's get back up here i find it's a lot easier in the water to fight a slime simply because they can't move around quite as much let's eat another apple get those hearts back so how much did i get i got 12 slime balls off of that not too bad let's see if we can't find a few more there's got to be where there's one slime there is often more than one slime so i'm just gonna have this this sheep as well because i'm collecting the wool i want the wool so as i can make a few more beds and also i quite like some meat in fact i might Kill this zombie. Right, so I kill that zombie. There's a creeper up there that I want to be cautious of because I want to cook some meat because I'm going to run out of food if I'm not careful. So let's. What do you do when you want to make some charcoal to fuel your um, thing? You obviously you burn some wood, which every starter knows. And if you'd have watched my first episode, you will know that I failed to actually action that and spent about an hour trying to dig for coal because I'm an Egypt. But now I've remembered. I'm just getting a bit more wood. I didn't bring an axe because, again, similarly foolishly, I didn't actually bring one because I didn't think, ah, oh, you won't need an axe. What are you talking about? There we go. Nothing coming. But what I am going to do is I'm going to come up here that way. Nothing can hit me whilst I'm doing it and I want to finish this tree off so as it dies off so now we've got there we go so what I can do now is I can right so I'm going to make a quick crafting table I think I can hear a noise I'm going to make a crafting table I might make a little tiny base of operations just here um, in readiness for a little bit more slowly. So I'll be back when I've done that. And hopefully it will have stopped raining again. Well, I'm still in the swamp. We've been here for two nights now. The moon is still not full though. But I have made a little house for me to kind of run away into. It has got a door. It ain't got a bed. Although I have actually managed to collect quite a lot of wool. And I've taken a bit of a bash in as well. I've eaten all my apples. So now I'm reverting to eating meat. All of a sudden... Oh, here we go. There's, of course, of course, there's a spider that wants to kill me and eat my face. Of course, there is. There we go. 
it was waiting around my bits and pieces. That's not very funny. Right, so I've made a bit more charcoal, um, which I can use for cooking stuffs later. I haven't got anything to cook at the minute, but I do have a load of meat, which is good. And I'm starting to put stuff into here because at the moment I don't really need it. I've got 13 slime blocks. Yes, yeah, that is a total of one more slime block that I had since you last saw me. One. There was one baby slime spawned and that was it. So this isn't the best spot, I have to say, for sliming. It's not amazing. Oh, look, there's a creeper there. Of course there is a creeper there. Where else would a creeper be? So let's do a bit of creeper fishing again. There we go. I had an unsuccessful creeper fishing trip. There you can see where something blew up a little bit closer to me than I would have liked it to be. There's loads of creepers around here. I'm collecting all sorts of stuffs, which is quite good. And the XP's going up a little bit, which is always nice. But uh, I really wanted a bit more slimes than 13 slime balls. So we're just going to carry on and see whether or not we can't do any better than that. Because, uh, frankly, at the minute, it's rubbish. I appear to have found a part of the swamp that is better at slimes than the last part I was at. So I'm just chasing a slime around this corner. There he is. And um, there's been a couple, though, they've despawned. And look, of course, there is a skelly as well, just to annoy me. So let's have a pop at him. And I'll have a go at both of them at the same time, because that's my mad skills. There we go. So we'll have you, we'll have you. I don't want to drown. <laughs> right, so I'm going to kill you a lot. I'm going to kill you a little bit as well. And where's the rest of you? Is that it? Is that all of you? Oh, that was a bit disappointing. I was hoping for more baby slimes then. But such is life. But there's a few there's been a few more slimes lurking around here as well. A couple have despawned. Um or disappeared at the very least. I'm assuming they've despawned. But this is a much better area, I think. So there has been quite a lot of other mobs as well. It might be the fact that I've killed a lot of mobs. Um, look, I've gone up a couple of levels. I say a lot. It's not that many, is it, really? But maybe that has meant that when one mob dies, another one can spawn. And as a result, um, it's I'm going to run away. I'm going to run away from that because I'm a coward. Did you see that arrow just pass street shoot right past my head? If I can... Right, so now the zombie and the skelly are fighting each other because the skelly hit the zombie with an arrow. Quite right, too. That was very aggressive of it. I need to eat some more meat now. So let's see if I can't find those other... There was definitely more slimes around there. I'm not fibbing. I promise there was. There was more. Where are you gone? All of a sudden, the slimes have just started to spawn. There's one over there. Look, there's one there. Being very aggressive. There is, oh god, a creeper's joined them now. This is not gonna, this is not gonna be good. Maybe I can use the creeper to kill the slime. So I'm gonna come around here and see if I can't give that quick creeper a bit of a swipe. That would be clever. There we go, that's done some. And I've got a zombie coming at me as well, there we go. So the day is coming, so that's going to help me with some of the other mobs, because the slimes won't despawn in the day if I'm in the right area. Look, let's see, there's a slime still over there. It's all very happy. Let's make sure I've got all those slime balls. I'm going to come over here and have a go at this slime as well. Swimming's slow, isn't it? Let's eat some meat. When you're going too slow, eat some meat. I've almost run out of sword, and of course, I only brought one sword, if you remember. Again, fighting the slimes in the water, because I find it's a lot easier. Don't you start separating as if you're some kind of clever strategist. Okay, so now, sink down. I think that's all the slime balls there. Are there any other slimes? There was a few lurking around. I'm wondering, probably, because I've come all the way over here, they're going to have despawned, aren't they? Absolutely, certainly. So let's, let's have a look, see if there's any left. And then I think I'm going to have to call it a day for this particular fishing trip. That spider's not going to hit me because it's daytime, I hope. Any more of it? I think, because there were two more slimes here. I'm sure. There were two more, look, and it's actually close to where I was. All of a sudden, they just started to, to spawn, which is fab. Any more before I... Nope. That is our lot. I'll tell you what, I'm going to call it there because I can jump over that gap. Let's collect up all of my bits. 
almost at level 23 as well, which I know isn't that high a level, but um, come on, I've just been slime hunting. Give me some credit. All right, so let's come along here. I'm going to leave all this gear here, I think. So if I leave the gear here, I'll be able to come back, you know, and craft and stuff. So I'll leave that charcoal there as well. Like I've got another 18 slime balls there to go with the 13, leaving me 31 slime balls. Now, that's, what, three, maybe four nights worth of hunting. So it's not too bad, actually. Um, and I've also got some other stuff in this chest that was quite useful. So I'm going to take the gold. I'm going to take the ink sacks because I'll be able to dye and get some wool and the wood. And I'm going to take back the lily pads and this stone. I'm not going to take the dirt. I am going to take the mushrooms. Um, and I'll take the sticks and the string. The rest of the stuff can stay here. Now I'll take the spider eye just in case. Um, rest of that can stay here, I reckon. You can have that, definitely. And I think it's time to go back to base. So we're back at the portal area. And what I thought I'd do is I've started to collect up a few of these sunflowers because they might be nice for decoration down the road you know when we uh, start to build up the the home base so I'm collecting up a few of the sunflowers and as I'm going around I'm also collecting up a load of eggs as well because what I want to do is I want to build obviously various farms at the home base and there aren't any chickens anywhere near the home base whatsoever so I'm going to be taking some eggs back with me so I'm collecting up the eggs and uh, once I've got the eggs I'm going to start lobbing them around. Now, some of them are going to break and do nothing. And some of them will break and hatch baby chicks. And if they hatch baby chicks and I get two, I can then start to breed the chickens to make more baby chicks. And once I've got more baby chicks, I can then start to get lots of chickens. Because those baby chicks will grow and they will also lay eggs. And um, that will mean that I can have... You know, a, a chicken farm. I can get enough chickens for a chicken farm, which is always good. I'm just wandering around. How many of these? Let's get 30. That, I mean, that's, that's enough for anybody, isn't it? 30 sunflowers. Absolutely, that's enough. So let's just wander around. Are there any more eggs over here? You got a little egg for me, chicky chicky? I've collected up. How many eggs have I collected up? Five. Right, well, I want more eggs than five. So I'm going to keep... There's another one over there. I'm going to keep wandering around, get some more eggs, and then I'm going to go back through the portal to the home base and I will see you when I get there. So we've just come back through the nether portal and we are back home. We come out the back side of the nether portal there. It looks quite nice from the back actually. I quite like the way it looks. Uh, we've got all kinds of stone going on there. I like it. Oh look, I've got, I've missed a, there's a hole there. Need to fill that. OCD will not allow that to remain. So it is just about to start to go dark, I think here by the look of things. Um, is it morning or is it evening? So let's go into the house. It is night time, so the sun has just gone down and the moon is just coming up. So I'm just going to have a bit of a sleep and then we're going to finish off in just a minute. So let's go almost went to where my bed was. So we're just going to have a bit of a sleep and then once we've had a bit of a sleep, we're going to come back and just do one last thing before we call it a day. Right, we've had a nice sleep and we are going to go and do summit just to finish off this a uh, little episode that we've done. It's not been a hugely successful episode. We didn't get loads of slime balls, but we did find out that the slimes did come eventually after we had a bit of a wriggle around there. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make just a little pen area. Six out. And then we're going to come out this way. Right, so that's what we've got there. So you can see that. Now you can't jump over a fence. Look, it don't work. Don't let you. Don't let you. Unless you stick a bit of carpet on the end there. Bit of carpet on the end there, and all of a sudden, bang, you can jump in. Carpet is very clever. It's magical. It can make you jump over fences that are too tall to jump over. So we got, in the end, uh, we got 23 eggs. So of these 23 eggs, I'm quite interested to know how many baby chickens will we get. Theoretically, we should get three, because you get one baby chick for every seven eggs, approximately. Sometimes, statistically, it works in your favour, and you get more. Sometimes, less. So we're going to have a go and see how many baby chicks we get with these 23 eggs. One, two, three. There's one. One, two, three. There's two. Now we've had a really good rate here. That is well above average. So I'm just gonna keep that three, four, five. This is an absolute result. How on earth are we doing this? This is way above the statistical expectation of what we would have for our chickens. Okay, so we've lost a load at the end there. So we've ended up with what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chickens. Eight chickens is an awesome start. 
So we're going to wait for those chickens to grow up, feed them up, breed them up, and we're going to have a really, really good stock of chickens. I'm very happy about that. So I just want to light up this area because I don't want anything to spawn inside here. So let's put a light there and a light there and a light there and a light there. There we go. So nothing theoretically should spawn inside that pen now. It should be light enough for it not to. And um, we've started to get a little bit of farming going. So I'm going to use those chickens for fuel for a chicken farm in a later episode. But in the meantime, I think we are going to call that a day for this episode and work out what it is we're going to do next time. I hope you really enjoyed that episode. It wasn't massively slimy, was it? But it wasn't too bad. We got 31 slime balls, which is enough for us to start making sticky pistons and slime blocks at the very least. Maybe some small redstone contraptions using sticky pistons and slime box would be possible so that would be good if you've enjoyed the video please do remember to hit that like button it'd be great to know that you've enjoyed the video and then i know i can make more and if you haven't done it already you are very naughty but please do hit that subscribe button and i look forward to seeing you in another video you take it easy now bye